Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today is a Monday, which means another speed build from me. And we are creating a stone English church in The Sims. And this is because a couple of days ago, I did a poll on Twitter as to which build you would like to see next from me. And the options were a Scandinavian modern home, a pretty English church and an American ranch house. And I've already created the Scandinavian modern house in The Sims and that's already on my channel if you're interested in seeing that but I thought because the English church came next in terms of voting and it was actually quite popular still and it's something that I really wanted to create anyway I thought I would do it next on my channel so I hope you like it I'm really happy with it it looks really similar to the kind of church that I would see growing up in the Yorkshire Dales because that's where I'm originally from although I don't live there now but yeah especially in this lot in Windenburg I absolutely love this neighborhood in Windenburg because it's so hilly and just the landscape is absolutely gorgeous there's loads of like hidden rivers and waterfalls just around and like I said that reminds me of the Yorkshire Dales and especially this particular lot because it overlooks like a field with some sheep like grazing on a hill that just seemed like it suited it down to the ground so you can see at first I really really struggled with what wallpaper I was going to use which stone sort of exterior and then also the columns just looked pretty awful to begin with but I eventually found the stone that I wanted to end up using and unsurprisingly it's the stone that I've used in quite a few of my recent builds so when I created my dream house or my dream farmhouse in the sims for my birthday Q&A video I used the same stone wallpaper and I basically think that that just looks like English stone to be honest with you so it's the only one that actually looks accurate in the sims so I end up using it in pretty much all of my builds but I think it looks okay so I'm not too fussed about that. So yes in terms of what the church can be used for within gameplay in The Sims I did make the interior like a wedding area with a wedding arch and seating for your sims and made it quite pretty inside with candles and things like that and then outside I made a graveyard so which sounds a bit morbid but I think I don't know I don't think it's that common for people to make sort of pretty graveyards in The Sims because because if you play with a family in The Sims that you have really grown to love and then sadly one of them dies and you want somewhere for their grave to be that you can visit to remember them and it not be like a horrible ugly graveyard or a scary graveyard because I feel like quite a few people make those in The Sims. I just wanted to create like a pretty place for you to go and visit your Sims and I thought this was kind of the ideal spot for that so I hope that you appreciate that and you don't think it's just a bit sad but yeah I add loads of flowers and you will eventually see that I tried to place the debug graves in there so like when your sims actually die you can place the urn on the floor and it turns into a grave but <laughs> I couldn't you can't do it in build mode and I didn't realize that so I was like placing it down over and over again and then it wasn't appearing like as a gravestone and then when I brought a sim here to take screenshots there were suddenly loads of gravestones in the graveyard so I had to like move them at the end so yeah in case you didn't know that's what happens when you try to place debug gravestones that was news to me i also mentioned that i made the interior a good spot for your sims weddings but to be honest with you it doesn't function as a wedding lot in the sims not how i made it I don't think so it's good for like photos and basically I don't know the sims weddings are a bit weird because if you were to go to a wedding in real life you might have a separate venue for the ceremony to the reception so this is like the ceremony lot <laughs> and then I could imagine you would take your sims somewhere else to celebrate and have a party so yeah there's no toilets there's no place for them to eat and dance and things like that it's just literally walking down the aisle and taking some screenshots and also the lot type is a generic lot type because I didn't have all of those things it technically wouldn't have let me make it a park or anything like that so I would recommend if you do want to turn this into a wedding venue that you just place it on a bigger lot and then maybe sort of add those things into a separate maybe a gazebo area might be nice but I basically just wanted to put it on this lot and if it was a bigger lot I would have done that for you but it was quite restrictive in 
like what it had to offer and also I don't think in real life you would find a church next to those things like it just wouldn't happen that's why people have their weddings in two separate venues and they end up driving to the places don't they so so yeah sadly the sims doesn't work the same as in real life but nothing new there and you can see me starting to make the graveyard in the back of the church like I mentioned and I'm adding these vampire gravestones at first and like I said I tried the debug ones and the landscaping I try to make as wild as possible so it's got loads of wildflowers and daisies and just sort of patches of grass everywhere within the graveyard and like around the church but then also where the trees are I just added like a load of grass everywhere and then here you can see that I'm adding like a few bouquets of flowers and roses and things like that because I thought that that would be quite cute and it makes it less morbid I think the idea that some people actually come and visit the graves and and leave flowers and things to celebrate their loved ones maybe on a special occasion or something like that so I think that's a cute idea <laughs> and then another thing that I forgot to do when I was recording the video was to add a bell into the church tower because I wanted to do that and I forgot to do it on camera but I ended up doing it in time for the screenshots so you'll see it in the screenshots but what I did for that was just found the debug butler bell and I filtered through vintage glamour as a pack so in case you want to replicate it yourself that's how I did it and then sized it up and then obviously moved it up and then just placed it in the bell tower so there is actually a church bell in there so that's quite a nice little touch I think I got that idea from someone else like ages ago here you can see that like I said I'm just turning this interior into a bit of a wedding venue basically and you could take out all of the candles and flowers and stuff and just have it as a church for your sims to come and go to church if they're religious but yeah I thought that personally I don't play with that type of gameplay in my game I would rather have it as a wedding venue for me so it's up to you what you do with the interior if you download this obviously but yeah I basically just placed a load of candles and those sort of hanging lights like fairy lights just because I thought they would make pretty screenshots hanging down just in front of the wedding arch that's where I put the wedding arch and then so at the back the far ends which I'm doing now <laughs> I don't know because I'm not a Christian you guys so I have no idea if I'm using the right words but that's where I placed the altar and I, I think that's like how churches work right that's where the altar goes yeah, I obviously add an organ as well so that you can have some music as you're walking down the aisle although that might be a bit morbid because I feel like the organ came with a vampire pack and so I'm not quite sure what kind of music the sims play on the organ it might be a bit dark but you could switch that out for a piano I guess and then I added like a little entry room with like hat and coat stands so yeah it's quite a simple build there's not much going on like I said and you might need to add a few things if you want to actually use it as a functional wedding venue within your game but that wouldn't be too hard to do I don't think so I hope you liked it if you did like it please like comment and subscribe as always thank you so much for watching I will see you again next time thank you guys bye